morning. It is day six of Advent. I hope you're all doing well. It is Monday. I am in between meetings. <laughs> I already had one meeting this morning. Um, anyway, we'll start off with our tea calendar this morning. Number six. Let's see what we get. Um, let's see. This one is called, ooh, I don't know what this one tastes like, but it's called Sleigh Ride. That light's a little bright. Sleigh Ride. So we'll see what that tastes like. It actually, ooh, it has green tea, cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, and pepper. That sounds good. We'll give it a try. And then we'll go on to look at the jelly calendar. Hey, our Bon Mama jelly calendar. Here's number six right here. Okay, don't want to open. There we go. Oh, I'm making a big tear. Probably don't need to, but I did. <laughs> Home is where the jar is. Ha, huh, it's kind of funny. I'm going to just put this down. Because every time I do this up, it never comes out. There we go. Home is where the jar is. There we go. All right, today, folks, we have a sweet orange passion fruit spread oh my gosh phil loves orange marmalade so he's probably gonna love this well make some toast and we'll find out the toast has been made and the tea has been brewed philip come get some toast <laughs> here he comes um today you're gonna like this this is actually orange orange can i say orange 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 you gonna say orange <laughs> passion fruit spread and phil likes a good orange marmalade so he might like this here shall That's what we said the other day with lemon. Ooh, I'm not, I like it. I'm not really into tart, but once it hits you, it's like, woo. But you know what? It tastes good. Mm hmm. This will actually good. be good with a sweetened coffee or a sweetened tea. No, this is not going to be sweetened. Mm -hmm. I like to taste the tea as it, as it mm -hmm. is. But I hear behind you, you're making, me, you're making yourself a cup of coffee anyway. All right, this is called Sleigh Ride Tea. Mm -hmm. And it's got um, cardamom and ginger and cloves and pepper and, and tea. <laughs> so we just open the spice cabinet? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> wow. Nutmeg, pepper. Mm. It tastes like tea to me. I don't really taste any major different flavors, but maybe really? that's just me. Or it could be because I just had the orange. <laughs> orange. I'm from New York, we say orange. I smell clove. Mm. I like how he smells his tea. I love it. But it's right. Hmm. It's confusing. There's so many different things in it. I'm serious. See, I think it's kind of, I couldn't really tell if there's much in there. It's good. I like it more than yesterday's tea. Well, you, you make coffee, so I get to keep the tea. Yep. But I'm keeping one? my toast. It's called Sleigh Ride. Sleigh Ride. All right. I guess it's kind of festive. Let's just throw a little of everything in there. <laughs> All right. See you in a little bit for the cat toy. All right, now we're going to do cat toys because I have another meeting coming up and I want to do this one before we actually get back to work. Um, so here is number six for today, cat toy. And we have one cat here, Miss. Turtle never comes down in the morning. She stays in upstairs and stays in bed. She's like her mother. She'd rather stay in bed. Miss, there's a toy. Look. <laughs> Phil, look at this. Miss. It's a little gingerbread, like, fat guy. Oh, jeez. Miss, Let's, come check this out. Let's see if we can get Miss to play with it. Miss! Look, gingerbread guy. <laughs> They're throwing at her. Well, I don't know. Look! It's she has no interest in that gingerbread fat guy. You know what? Because you know why? Because he's here. If he's here, the world ends and Miss just loves her father. Her daddy, as we call him. You love daddy, right? But miss, it's a toy. She's like, I don't want that. Yeah, not interested. Okay. Well, we'll see if she, any, any of the cats, either one of the cats like it later on. We'll see if anybody uh, takes a liking to it. Rituals of Advent time. Number six is actually this interesting tree over here. So we haven't had a tree yet. So it kind of looks like that. And it says, be sweet to your body. This hair and body mist from the ritual of Ab... Ayurveda, I that's how you say it, brings sweet harmony and balance for body and soul. So hair and body mist, that's interesting. Spray it in your hair. 
Okay. The ancient art of living well. Blissful hair and body mist. Well, it doesn't say how it smells. I'm going to have to spray it and let you know. Hold on. I don't like it. All right, well, I'll spray a little bit. Hmm. I will say that smells pretty good. I'd have to look at the little, tiny little ingredients and tell you what it smells like, but it, it's very light. Um, so yeah, I would say this is very nice, a very nice scent. You know, it's nice. It's, it's very, it's almost like you just got out of the shower and you had some, a nice soap you were using. Um, so I'll look at the back and see what the ingredients are later and I'll tell you what's in it, but it smells very pretty. So hair and body. So if you're having a bad hair day and your hair stinky, you have to throw it in your hair too. <laughs> hey everybody, day six of Advent. Uh, day six memory of my father. Uh, today's picture is actually his work picture and I have a little turtle sitting here looking at me. Say hello. Um, it's his work picture um, that they took at his, his company. Um, for almost all my life, he worked for a company called SAS, Scandinavian Airlines uh, Systems. And he was a systems guy. He was a, not a pilot or, or anything like that, but he put all the computer systems in LaGuardia Airport and other airports across the world. He's been everywhere, Copenhagen and oh my gosh, everywhere. And um, he loved his job. He was there, I think, 40 plus years, if I remember correctly. I have all of his certificates from his job. I, I have all the stuff. I kept it all. And um, he really enjoyed it. And, and because of that, I got to travel a lot as a kid, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, we used to go all sorts of places. And uh, those are the days when you dressed to get on a plane. You know, you'd have to look nice when you go, especially if we were lucky enough to get first class. Um, and we would go, you know, he took me to Copenhagen, like I said, and um, Hawaii. When I just, just, we did a whole bunch of trips when I was a kid. So that was kind of cool for him working for the airlines because we got a lot of perks. And then, of course, with my job, uh, not right now, but um, for 20-something years that I've been with my company, I, I was traveling for a living every week in the airport. So I wonder where I got that from. <laughs> so maybe it's just my love of flying and all these years. <laughs> Turtle. Um, but anyway, that's his work picture. He looks very handsome in that picture. And again, he worked for Scandinavian Airlines for a lot of, one of those companies where you stayed forever and you retired there, right? So you retired from there. Um, I'm hoping to do the same with my company. I'm not a big fan of <laughs> doing, fan of changing jobs. I only have four more years to retirement. I pray I can stay where I am until I'm retired. Anyway, that was my dad uh, snippet for today. Hope you liked a picture of my dad. Um, again, we're going to go ahead and look at some of the, um, love this. Beauty advent calendars. We already did the cat calendar. You missed it. You never come downstairs. He's a little chewy thing. He's so cute. Mwah. This is my baby girl. Um, anybody's wondering, I don't have any children. So this is my cat. <laughs> He's my child. <laughs> All right. Sorry. T talking too long and making these videos too long. See you in a minute for a different um, calendar. All right. I just rewatched re the video I just recorded and I realized I have no makeup on my face <laughs> except for a little lip gloss. So deal with that and yes i am getting a lot of makeup on these kids and i should probably use it but i had a really rough morning and um i had a meeting first thing so okay so anyway here is the clarins um calendar um today's number six let's see what we get all right clarins em energizing emulsion soothes oh soothes tired legs hoo hoo Mm -hmm. After a workout, and yes, I do work out, believe it or not. <laughs> that might be a good one. Or, or just tired legs. I don't know why legs would be tired. My legs just in pain because I'm working out or whatever I'm doing. They get all sorts of achy. So I'll give that a try. Energizing emulsion. I'll let you know how that works. Next up, your Rocher in number six right here. And today it says, a radiant smile for the holidays. Ooh. See, toothpaste, maybe. <laughs> oh, actually, no, it's, it looks like Rouge Vertige, set in stain. I'm assuming this is lipstick. <laughs> so it's not gonna change your, your teeth smile, but it's gonna definitely change your smile. It's like a nice red. Ooh, I'll try that later. I'll wear it with our wine and cheese and I'll show you what it looks like. Today, Kiehl's number six is a little tiny box of the snowman. Let's take a look. Here we have Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream. Facial skin day and night to make it. So pretty much looks like a face cream. 
have enough face creams to last me now for the rest of the year, I think, 2022. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Unless I don't like it, of course, and I'm not going to use it, but here we are. Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil-Free Gel Cream. So 24 hydration and shine control. Oh, I like the shine control. I have a little bit of oil in my T-zone. All right, so basically another facial cream, but we'll give it a try and see how that works. And I will let you know tomorrow. Let's look at Sephora. Number six looks like a cozy sweater. Cleansing, okay, cleansing time for noses. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a pore pad or something like that. I doubt it's a tissue. <laughs> Here's a tissue so you can blow your nose. Now this is, yep, charcoal no nose strip. If you have those blackheads in your nose, it'll take them off. I've tried these in the past, they hurt typically, but I will try this and I will let you know if it hurt. <laughs> and uh, they usually work very well. Um, I don't have a lot of blackheads, so I, I do a really good job at doing uh, um, exfoliation and all sorts of good things to my skin, but I will try it anyway. And I will let you know if it gets gross and takes out blackheads. <laughs> L'Occitane. This one's actually at the top number six. No, I didn't open it yet. It just happened to be opened. Maybe because I've been tossing these boxes around. <laughs> there we go. I'll get it yet. Ta da! Let's see. Squishing it, whatever it is. Oops. Okay, we have gel cream. Cooking. Cooking? No, cooling. <laughs> How did you look through the camera? Cooking gel. No, it's cooling hand cream gel. So basically a hand cream, um, but it cools. So I guess if you're having a hot day. So basically it's a cooling, well, I'm gonna have to, have to see what this means, cooling hand cream. Can I make my hand cold? I'm already cold, it's winter time in Chicagoland. No, I see what you mean. It's, just, it's a cool feeling for your hands. It's very light, very light, not greasy at all. No, it's nice. Cooling gel hand cream. All right, there we go, Luxaton. Thank you. Time for a glossy box surprise. And day six was in the second drawer, or third drawer, second from the bottom. There it is right there. Number six. Big box. But again, as we all learn, big box is not a big thing. Yay. <laughs> More fluffy paper. And here's the item. Polar. I'm thinking it's another hand cream. Yep, it's another hand cream. I am all set for hand cream. And this is only day six. I'm going to be so curious to see how many hand creams. And yes, I am tallying every day how much of each thing I get. So at the end of this whole mess, I will tell you um, how many hand creams, how many face creams. Um, and like I said, I think I'm going to be set for the rest of the year when it comes. I mean, they're small. So they'll fit in your purse, which is good. Um, but, you know, they'll definitely last me a while. So there you go. Cream. I'm not going to put another hand cream on. I just put the other one on. So... I think I'm not gonna <laughs> do the same. I'll try this one later. Back at the body shop party. I really love this box. Anyway, uh, number six is actually underneath. So once again, we have to do this. Break it. Number six is right here. The gingerbread man on it. Cute, 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 cute. Bake with your besties and share your tasty treats at your local care home or food bank. Now, I, I'm good for that. I will definitely, I like to bake. And um, we definitely have a nursing home here in town. I could definitely bring some home baked goods too. So um, I don't know if I'll bake with my besties. Huh? Everybody's so busy, especially this time of year. Uh, we'll give it a try. Let's see what we get in the body shop today. All right, oh, another body wash. Now, if you remember, we had a, oh, I'm sorry, not body wash, shampoo. Okay, oh, cool. Um, so this is banana, that's wild, banana shampoo. Oh, I gotta smell this, hold on. You know I gotta smell this. Yep, it smells like banana. Wow. The only thing with this shampoo is I'll have to look later. It's probably too tiny to look, but I'll have to see if it has sulfate in it. If it does, yes, there are sulfates in this shampoo. So girlfriend will not be using the shampoo because I am not messing up my $300 keratin treatment. But um, I'm sure I can, maybe Phil tried banana shampoo. Hey, 
We'll see what he says. All right, looking fantastic again. Let's take a look. What's gonna make me look good today? Oh, number six is up here. Doo, doo, doo. There's number six. All right. No silk gel today. Feels like some kind of makeup. Oh, here. Delilah lip liner. Ooh, long wearing retractable, oh, retractable pencil. That's kind of cool. And what color is it? Let's see. Oh, it actually says, okay, the color is called buff. So, is it like, <laughs> okay, let's see. It's hard to see. Let me see if I can. It's kind of like a pink. Yeah, like a pinky color. Hmm. I'll have to try that. I don't know what kind of lipstick I'd wear. I have a million lipsticks, so I'll find something. But it's very light. I'm not into light, light colors, but I can definitely give it a try and see what it works with. But, yep, that's what's coming at the um, Look Fantastic today is a company called Delilah, who I've never heard of before. That's one thing I like about doing this, though. I'm learning about new things and new companies, so that's kind of cool, too. So Delilah Lip Line. Give it a try. And now number six from Christian Dior, um, which is down here. So far, yesterday's perfume was probably my favorite so far, but I'm still not seeing $500 worth of stuff yet. <laughs> Maybe I have, but I'm losing it if I have. Let's see what we get. It's only the sixth day. I should be patient, right? All right, what do we have here? Capture Total Cell in Super Potent Serum. Ooh, what can I do with Super Potent Serum? It's like some Harry Potter. Capture Total Cells. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, guess what? It's a face cream. <laughs> it's not their fault. They didn't give me one yet. All right, folks. Like I said, I'm going to be face creamed and hand creamed out before this uh, Advent wonderfulness is over. But this looks like an expensive face cream, I'll be honest with you. Super Potent Serum. I will try it and I'll let you know if it's potent. See you a little bit later. Okay, Phil, what do you got today? All right, game calendar. Number, where'd it go? Numbers, I just saw it. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. Number six. Another bulb. <laughs> no, I hope not. Okay, no. Not another bulb. Ooh, it looks like a speaker, like a piezo tweeter. Oh, okay. Like a beeper or buzzer kind of thing. Cool. So, all right. Beeper and buzzer's coming up. So we got that. And then our radio kind of done. The radio number I'm more excited six. about this one. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, but that one will make sound now, too. So. True. <laughs> Come on. Well, that tore messy. Okay, eight number eight's down there, so you have to be careful. No, I don't want to mess with eight. All right. What do we have here? A resistor. If you can see that, it's tiny. Very exciting. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be showing us what all these parts will like do in a little bit. 15K resistor. All right, we'll see if yep. you fill a little bit wide color. So the game is kind of weird. They call it the wire maze. So. Mm -hmm. They had me put this like crinkled up bare wire over here and I think it actually wanted me to make it much longer which I didn't really realize till I built it. <laughs> but the idea is you have one wire that you guide along a, another wire like that and as long as you don't touch the two wires together and you make it all the way to the end it'll make a low pitch sound. If you accidentally hit the wire in the middle like the maze, I guess, and it makes a high-pitched sound. So anyway, it's kind of weird, but I'm going to do a little bit of it, and you'll hear how it kind of works. But I'll take my glasses off to actually see this because it's kind of tricky. So, so and I'm going to use this to grab the one wire. It's kind of hard to see. I'll do it from here. All right, so... So the idea is you're supposed to guide it down this whole wire. I'm going to start from about here. <laughs> Put the battery on and you'll hear a beep. Okay, so that means it's working. 
And now I don't, I'm not touching, so I'm guiding it along the wire, along the wire. It's almost like the operation game. And, oh, see, that high-pitched sound means I messed up. So basically, you're, it's like a maze. Mm -hmm. A little silly maze. Right. <laughs> that you're just trying to guide the wire and not touch, yes. the, uh, touch them together. So it, what it's doing is it's showing we have a speaker connected now, and the chip can make different sounds on the speaker, different pitches of sounds. So if I make it all the way to the end, let's try and do this. Yay, let's get all the way to the end and touch the finish. There's the low pitch sound. That means I won. I got all the way to the end. So woo. Right. Well, what we have discovered about the electronic game calendar is it's not making one game that you can just play any old thing. I think it's more of a teaching exercise for people who are learning how to build things. Yeah, notice the LEDs that we had yesterday are gone. Right, so basically each day you build a different game and then you take it apart, and then you build another game and you take it apart. So yep. in reality, it's kind of silly because you don't really have a game in the end. Yeah. Where the radio, we should have a radio in the end. That yes, it's not, get, it's not going to change into something else. It will eventually be a radio. Do you remember so. the name of the game they called that or no? Is there a name? It was called Wire Maze. Wire Maze, fair yeah, enough. That's it. Yippee, woo, so, so that one yep. there, yeah. <laughs> A, a good learning experience for a yep. kid, especially. But, right, now, this is also an alert, electronic learning experience, so it's not very exciting. <laughs> so I'll give this power, and yay, we have a light that's lit. I added this resistor. That's what I got today. That makes the light dimmer than it usually is. Fine. What this is going to show is that the speaker has way less resistance than the light bulb, meaning electricity wants to travel through here much more than it wants to travel through that light bulb. And the way it shows that is I'm actually gonna connect the, the, the speaker alongside the light bulb and the light bulb will go out like it does. And there's a little crackle on the speaker. Really hard to hear, very hard to hear now. But um, that's all it's doing is I'm basically saying if I give the speaker power, what happens to the light? The light loses. All right, so then power. the end result, though, this stays together and you keep building it versus the other one you take it apart every day. <laughs> yeah, the, you, you pro will probably take a little bit of this apart, but mostly it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And make a radio in the end. Yes. Ooh, I can't wait for it to be a damn radio. <laughs> Meanwhile, my exciting, exciting job was coloring again. And I have today we added a little orange or orange if you, if you don't if you say it right. So there's my coloring. Okay, on to wine and cheese, and then we have to go because Phil has a date with his parents tonight. Oh, you weren't on the camera when you did that, <laughs> but all right, fair enough. All right, we're exhausted. Today yeah. has been one of a work day. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about this real quick, and then I'm gonna collapse. He's had a date with his parents tonight. So uh, that is that. So wine and cheese tonight is day six. So mm -hmm. we are looking at the all-day cheese calendar. Day six is right here. And tonight we have Cheese. No, <laughs> we have a, oops, we have a big piece of cheese today. Oh, wow. It's a black pepper gouda. Hmm. Ooh. There's like a lot of gouda in this calendar. Though. Yeah. Did you notice that? Yep. There's all sorts of flavors of gouda. So you open that for a minute. Right. And then we have bottle number six. So Phil can actually have some wine before he sees his parents because he might need it. Um, <laughs> oh, sometimes you need a little extra wine when you're with family. There we go. And, oh, it's not a wood. It's not a red. That's okay. It's not I'll, a I'll red. Nope. It, it, wait a second. We had this the other day. Is it the same one? La Pluma. Yeah, it is. Sauvignon Blanc? Yes, it is. Oh. All right. Well, we're having it again. <laughs> I'm not too happy about this today. <laughs> I have to, you know what, it's maybe not my fault, or maybe their fault. Maybe I didn't realize that they gave you duplicates, potentially. Um, well, if they yeah, don't so have 24 Blanc. listed. This is also Lake County, California, uh, smoky grapefruit, tangy citrus. It is very possible there might be two of each in here. I have no idea. But anyway, so we've already said we uh, read, drank this wine, so let's eat the cheese. Let's see how the cheese tastes. I'm struggling with this one. Here we go. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. We've already had it before. <laughs> I know. It's still going to be white. I'm still not going to like a white. Well, I don't not like white, but no, generally. Alright. I'm going to pour it away today. I didn't realize we had doubles in there. It's not their fault. They probably make so many wines they make. Or, or, or have. But I really thought it was going to be 24 different wines. Hmm. Could be my mistake. Alright, good enough. Here. Let's, let's uh, Here. cheers. Okay. And cheese. Let me already taste it. But... <coughs> 
Tastes the same. Yeah, I'm not caring for that one. Mm. All right, so here's our black pepper Gouda cheese. Yeah. Very soft. Oh, it's got capers in there. I think. I like the wine, still. I think it's got capers in there. Really? I know. Or big, oh, you know what it is? It's a peppercorn. Woo! Peppercorn, yep. Hey, peppercorn? Oh, yeah. I don't think I see that. Mm. Very good. I like black pepper, I don't think I so this cheese. But to go, oh, I'm gonna get some peppercorn cheese. Mm. It's all right. It's pretty good. All right, we'll That's see you fun. tomorrow. Have a good night. And all those things. Oh, by the yep. way, I'm wearing my red lipstick I got from um, Yves Rocher. It's very creamy. I said I would wear it during the wine test, so here I am. All right, hopefully tomorrow's a calmer day for work. Yeah. Whew. All right, we'll talk to y'all later.